Hi, uh, this is my uh, DTM decoder which works on Godzilla algorithm and it is implemented on PIC 18F4520. So let's just check out the hardware. Uh, this is the main microcontroller board which uses PIC 18F4520 and a 10 MHz crystal and that's essential that you use 10 MHz crystal because there is an internal PLL in the controller which can crank up this frequency of 10 MHz to 40 MHz and can run the peak at the maximum frequency possible of 40 MHz. Now <clears throat> coming to the analog section, uh, this is a isolation transformer 600 by 600 ohms uh, from Triad and these are two uh, capacitors, high voltage capacitors uh, to uh, stop any DC voltage coming into the, into the transformer and it only allows a uh, AC, AC signal so basically the DTMF signal or the audio signal whatever it is so it allows and this is a resistor now I'm not very sure if this value is correct but I have used about 2k and it looks like to reduce the loading on the line and uh, these are two uh, diodes connected uh, in anti-parallel and that basically acts as a voltage protection in case the ringing voltage in the line causes the line voltage to go very high so this high voltage should not damage my controller <coughs> coming to this circuit is my uh, uh, signal generator which I had explained in my another web page and it basically consists of an op-amp LM358 and it takes the signal from this board and provides a DC offset so that I can measure the AC voltage at the same time it gives a gain to the amplifier so um, this is the back side uh, the red and uh, red and green wire comes from the telephone line and here is my telephone and then the signal from here the black and white wire goes all the way to this board where the amplifier gives a uh, gain, small gain and basically adds a DC offset of about 2.5 volts which is half the, the ADC reference of this controller and uh, this is the LCD that I use to, to display the uh, numbers that is decoded so let's check out the working okay so what I have is my telephone and uh, the LCD panel in the same screen so that as I dial a number you can see the same displayed on the LCD and this is my uh, entire setup so let's switch on the power here so some initial uh, power on restart uh, power on testing and then it displays all zeros because there is no number which is dialed so let's put it on speaker phone and let me dial 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, star, 0, hash. So as you can see uh, the numbers are displayed quite accurately except for the 2 which gets displayed twice and now uh, that's a bug in the software which I am yet to uh, correct but that's not on the algorithm but on the digits so once it detects a digit uh, it somehow misses the uh, space in between two digits so that's how it gets displayed twice so whatever uh, is the number that is punched in from my telephone gets displayed on this screen so let's do it once more so uh, what we'll do now is uh, let me punch in the number uh, before I lift my uh, handset and let the telephone uh, dial the number uh, based on the specification of DTMF so let me punch in 1, 2, 3 four five six seven eight nine star hash sorry star zero hash and then I lift my uh, handset so as you can see the numbers are displayed quite accurately even if the telephone uh, by itself it dials the number that means the the timing of each of the digits say one two three is not decided by me but by, by the telephone and even for such small or big signal the DTMF algorithm works pretty nicely okay so uh, let us do another test where uh, I will press each digit for a very long time and let's see how many times does the Godzilla algorithm detects 
I mean the Godzilla algorithm as such will detect fine but there is another um, small uh, code which detects the space in between two digit and let's see if it is able to detect or not so let's sorry receiver let me press one okay it doesn't work very good two it doesn't work very good three no so uh, it detects multiple time so um, effectively what it means is my Godzilla algorithm works good but the code which is supposed to recognize the space between two digit that has to be uh, rectified so that has to be there is a bug in it and we have to rectify it but uh, I'll do it later but as of now um, uh, it the Godzilla algorithm it can detect the digits which is uh, pressed in my keypad so uh, I'm doing another test whereby uh, I'm calling uh, my phone so you can see the handset which is kept uh, from my mobile and let me dial a number from my mobile and let's see if the DTMF can detect the code so let's dial 123 so you can see the phone as well as um, the LCD on the same screen so 1 2 3 sorry I have pressed 6 and 7 8 9 star hash so as you can see one two six seven eight nine star hash one two six seven eight nine star hash okay so except for the two getting displayed twice uh, the DTMF can even detect signals which are coming from a remote phone so I am calling from a mobile and that signal comes to my landline and it still detects so this should be a uh, good way to uh, do a home automation uh, project from a uh, mobile phone so I can call my landline from my mobile and uh, I can control certain things uh, from my mobile so let's end the call here the icing on the cake is that I just realized that um, my telephone it sends the caller ID number as a sequence of DTMF so even that number can be displayed uh, by using this algorithm but uh, I won't be able to demonstrate that because I don't want to make my telephone number a public so for that reason but as such it works uh, pretty nicely that's what I have seen so more details about uh, the hardware schematic and the code and the algorithm uh, explanation are available on my website Please visit and hope you like this project.